Whatever happened to Java Best, the speed demon out of Cal University, we haven't seen a premier running back with legit speed since CJ2K. Java Best was a big part of any offense he was in. If he got to the second level of the defense, it's bad news. As a true freshman in 2007, Java Best was the primary backup to Justin Forsett. On only 29 carries, Best had 221 rushing yards and 2 touchdowns. Best also caught 13 passes for 174 yards and receiving touchdown. Best was selected as the team's most valuable freshman as well as the team's J. Scott Duncan award winner for most valuable special teams play. In 2008, Java Best quickly got the nation's attention in the season opener against Michigan State on August 30th. Java Best had 111 yards on 24 carries, including a touchdown, but his breakout game came on September 6 in a 66-3 Cal win against Washington State, having two touchdown runs of over 80 and 86 yards, respectively. Best finished the game with exactly 200 yards and three rushing touchdowns. Now that is just crazy. After two more impressive outings against the UCLA and Oregon, where he averaged over 6 yards per carry, Best was held to only 30 yards against the USC Trojans, following a 201-yard rushing game against the Stanford Cardinal in a 2008 big game on 19 carries. Best became the seventh consecutive 1,000-yard rusher for Cal since Jeff Tan Ford became the head coach in 2002. During the last game of the regular season versus Washington on December 6, Best became the first Cal player to rush for over 300 yards in a game, ended the regular season as the Pac-10's leading rusher, beating out Jaquez Rogers. And also on a 186-yard two-touchdown performance in the 2008 Emerald Bowl, earned him offensive MVP honors for the game. Java Best finished the 2008 season with 1,580 yards rushing on an 8.1 yard per carry average and 15 touchdowns. After a slump year of 2009, Java Best only rushed for 867 yards and coming off a few injuries such as this one. Oregon State, they're running that crazy formation. This is Best. Is job at all right though. He landed on his back. And he was up. He leaped to begin with. And then ended up landing on his back. And he has had some freak injuries over the course of his career. From his hip to his foot. Last year he had a hyperextended elbow. And they're just the oddest type of injuries, usually around big plays. Well, he hurdled the defender into the end zone and landed on his back. He hurdled him and then got propelled up. These guys, when they come in, the running backs, and does a wonderful job with all of these running backs. And you just hope that for such a fine young man, Java Best. Java Best announced on January 2nd, 2010, that he would Fargo his senior season to enter the NFL Draft. Now, Java Best has a few records with those being Cal record for most rushing yards in a single game with 311, most all-purpose yards in a single season in 2008 with 2,247 total yards, 2008 Emerald rushing record with 186, and also set a modern era Cal record for most rushing touchdowns in a single game with five scored against Minnesota on September 19, 2009. Dick Dunn rushed for six in 1922. Now, in my honest opinion, I think the Lions could have had more playoff appearances or maybe even Super Bowl appearance if Javi Best could have stayed healthy. The Lions had everything to ask for. The best deep threat in Calvin Johnson, a young quarterback in Matthew Stafford, and the running back with the speed that some wish that they could have had in Javi Best. Java Best's injury set the Lions back a few years for not having that running back that could take some of the attention off of Calvin Johnson. There's no way if Java Best stays healthy, this team doesn't at least make the NFC Championship game a few times or just maybe even once. And maybe Calvin Johnson wouldn't retire if he had more success with the team. You never know. On July 17, 2013, Java Best was released by the Detroit Lions. 
The numerous concussions he suffered throughout his career prevented him from returning to the field during the 2012 season. If only things could have been different for Javid Bass, we really could have seen something special.